Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be doing two heartbreak token pulls, one on each region. I was kind of feeling it with a premier pull as well, it is Wayland up and I did a one pull and I managed to get a Yumiko which I've never had before. So I was fairly happy with that, not too bad, it's only a five star but you know I was feeling the one pull and I got something out of it, not something, not something spectacular but hey we'll take it. If it's a new character, potential of it being you know a decent ascend if it ever if she ever comes ascendable very doubtful but still we're going to claim the tokens in the heartbreak collection and we're going to do the port on this region really low chance of getting anything good in terms of like three i think it's three percent for an ascendable but i think some of the ascendables are good at least it's a guaranteed five star this is going to be a much better event if you're brand new to the game because you're guaranteed a five star and a guaranteed five star is really good um, obviously there are crates in here as well where you could get two characters but some of those crates aren't great if we did get a crate this first one would be good even though i've got lydia on this region already i'd probably prefer this combo just because michonne's great so I, just for michonne basically i'd love to get michonne disarm i don't think there's anyone super spectacular that i'm gonna pull on i'm not sure let's see who's in the five stars who's worth pulling on the first one i get a feeling on but, okay, okay, we're going to just pull on Teresa. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> I wanted this Maggie for so long. I might not have her on this region, you know. Bonus HP command Maggie I wanted for a long time. I might not have her here. Let's have a little check. I got on my other region from Prestige. I want to say from Prestige. Let's have a little look. And... Looks like she's new on this region, that's great. So she's not a dupe, but yeah, I mean, she's a five star. It would have been better to obviously get another character that's an ascendable, but if she does become ascendable, I've got on both regions. She is actually pretty legit. Damage and bonus HP and a command, whether she would keep that command or not, who knows. So I'm gonna switch to my other region and see what pull I can get there. Okay, on my other region, let's just claim this again. I do like the assets. They do look pretty good. The, the bow, the arrow, and the hearts, the heart necklaces look pretty cool. Okay, okay. So we're gonna pull, and this time I'm gonna pull on Lydia it's very early. Ascendable would be nice. Any ascendable would be really nice. Oh my god. I'm kind of kind of regretting that I picked this guy on pick your side now because <laughs> I've got to think of three of him. Uh, I mean, both of these characters I got would actually be pretty good if you were new to the game. In terms of being able to clear world map and stuff. You know, lots of damage on both of these guys. But for me, as expected, I probably was never going to get, you know, a super character that was going to be changing for me unless I got an ascendable. We might get a couple more pulls of this. So hopefully if you have pulled so far you've got some luck or you're going to get some luck in your future future pulls my pulls were not that great no average I, mean, I guess it's nice to get a, a brand new five star in another region that's about it but uh, but yeah that's the end of my video guys thank you very much for tuning in and as always keep on surviving guys keep on surviving